What's up, y'all? It's No Joe Cow. We're coming at you guys live from my house slash home gym here in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Uh, I do want to apologize for the poor light quality in this video. Uh, today was the only time I really had time to make videos, and it's nighttime now, so my my house doesn't really have uh, lighting that's like really uh, conducive to filming like quality videos. But y'all motherfuckers know I'm still I'm still gonna bring that I'm still gonna bring that personality. So. Have a seat, please. Please have a seat. Sip, sip your little water. Get comfortable. Scratch your balls. Adjust your clam. I digress. Yeah, I said it. Fuck y'all motherfuckers if y'all don't like when I say I digress, man. Fuck y'all. Anyways, I got an email. Feminism Gone Wild and Existential Ponderings by Sophia Saminga Yana, Yana. Now, Sophia is from Stockholm, Sweden. Now, I don't know if she's Swedish by ethnicity or what, but I, I, Sophia, I, I apologize if I butchered your name. Sorry, I'm sorry. All right, hi, Brayton. Great videos, keep up the great work. However, I miss your more philosophical contemplations. So here are two questions for you. Oh, we got a two, a two for one special. Thank you, Safia. Uh, did I say Sophia? Safia. I'm, For example, in one of your videos, you talked about being more in touch with your emotions. So just some of your existential ponderings. Yeah, I mean, being in touch with your emotions is, is obviously very important. And I'm going to get to her next question here in a minute. Now, when I was making those videos, uh, you guys probably recall the video I made. If, if you guys know this one, you might, uh, where I talked about crying in public. I talked about my mother. I talked about my drug abuse uh, just a little while back. Not Really not that long ago, like within, but like within the last two months. I was, uh, I was abusing opiates hardcore, like hardcore, more than I've ever seen anybody do. But the thing is, it's like I was doing it for like two weeks. So it was just like, it was just like a full out two week opiate binge I had. And not just opiates, but benzos as well, like, like diazepam and all that. And when you take drugs like that, like even, even like not just opiates or benzos, but even other things um, like Coke or whatever stimulants too, they MDMA, you know, they can fuck with your emotions as well. As some of y'all well know if you guys use drugs um, or, or, or have abused drugs in the past, I should say. So my emotions were definitely fucked up. They were definitely not on point, my emotions. Um, you know, so I think I think the drugs had a lot to do with that, but but still, since then, and, and like I don't take my drug abuse back. I don't take that back. Like that, like that made me fucking stronger, and it gave me experience. Like I I think I can better relate to people and like have a like it's easier for me to have a little more empathy for people who fuck their life up with drugs. Like I didn't necessarily fuck up my life like big time, but I but I did temporarily, and uh, like even though it wasn't that that hardcore, and I'm and I'm like like. Like, I, like, I'm glad it wasn't hardcore. I'm glad it wasn't long-term. But uh, I think it really taught me a lot about, about empathy. Like, having empathy for others who fucked their life up. Uh, uh, and, not, and not saying, oh, well, he just, you know, he's a fucking idiot. Because he, he did drugs. He should have known better. Blah, 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 blah. Well, guys, look, it fucking happens to great people. There's so many great people that have died from, uh, from drug abuse. Anyways, I feel like I'm getting off topic now, man. But let me, let me get back to the emotional thing. Uh, lately in my life, the last few weeks... Like th last three, four weeks, I've been in, in very happy. Granted, there's been a little stress and drama here and there, but generally speaking, overall, I'm I'm a, I'm, I'm a happy guy. I mean, I I am. I I have a house here that I, I have all to myself here in Phnom Penh. I have a three-story home with a home gym that I train clients out of. Uh, uh, I have a fucking nice kitchen and all that. I mean, it's it's sweet and it's all to myself. It's what I've always wanted. I have, a, I have a business in my fucking home, dude. That's what I've always wanted. I just met an amazing woman a couple of weeks ago, and she's been fucking amazing. And this is the first time I've had a woman that I've even really been having sex for over two and a half years. You know, so you can imagine after, after, after being depressed back in the States and all that shit, and just, and just wanted to kill myself, and all I did was fucking fight and train kickboxing and Muay Thai. And you can imagine, like, that's a rough and rugged lifestyle, man. Like, I lived in the hood constantly. I'd had zero fucking friends. I was always getting looked at and shit in the hood, of course, because I'm a white dude. Uh, my, my fucking ex-fiance and I, we lived in the same apartment at eight months after we broke up. And we just fought and argued. It was, she was, like, mean to me and shit. And I was, granted, I was mean to her sometimes, too. It was a bad situation, man. Then I come out here... 
You know, I study. All I want to do is fight. That's it. Like, you guys can watch my videos from over a year ago. You can see how much I've changed in the last year, man. Like, you guys can see. There's fucking video proof. And that's the reason that I don't edit my videos. So, some people ask me, why don't you edit your videos or apply software applications to them to, to make them better? Why don't you watch what you say? No. I want y'all motherfuckers to see, and, and not just you, but, but I want to see the evolution over time. And I'm going to continue to make these videos throughout the years, guys, no matter where I end up. Unless I'm, of course, in fucking jail or dead or something. But yeah, if I'm, if I'm physically able to do this, then I'm going to do it for the rest of my fucking life. And y'all y'all can follow me, uh, whatever. You guys can see my story. So yeah, man, like I lived a rough and rugged lifestyle for the last few years. And I, I finally am, am, am in a place where I have really everything I've ever could, could have asked for ever. Plus, plus some more, you know what I mean? And, and I met this amazing woman that I've just had the most incredible fucking time with, the most... I don't want to say too much or anything, but dude, it's like, I'm fucking happy right now, man. I'm, I'm, very, I'm a genuinely happy guy right now. So, let me get to Safia's next question here. Uh, so, uh, feminism gone wild. If I believe a man should be allowed to be a man, then I'm not a feminist. What are your views? Lots of hugs. Safia from Stockholm. All Safia. Hey. Come here. Come on, come on, bring it in, Br bring it in, come on, Seth, bring it in, come on, come on, there it is, hold on, hold on, ah, oh, that was nice, okay, <laughs> alright, so, um, wow, feminism, fuck man, now where the fuck do I begin with this, uh, oftentimes, from what I've seen, people who are these so-called activists, like feminist or uh, I don't know what you call them, but like anti-racist, whatever, like equal rights activist or whatever, uh, tend to be the most discriminatory, the most, the most uh, prejudiced to me. Meaning that uh, for, okay, for example, for example, I have an aunt, my dad's sister, and if she's watching, shout out to you, her name is Anastasia, and she's, she's, she's a good woman, and I love her, and I miss her, and I wish I could see her again. However, I used to live with her in Portland, Oregon, and some of you know Portland, Oregon is a very, like, liberal, blah, 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 fucking town. Let me check my time. Cool. Um, so let me wrap this up here in the next few minutes. So it's like, basically, I had to walk on fucking eggshells. Now, she is, uh, I guess you would say a feminist. She's got the fucking short haircut. She's a type of person where you gotta constantly watch what you say. Uh, now, granted, like, I respect the fact that, that Feminists like her, you know, and not just her, but, but but all others have the balls to call you out if they disagree. Like I respect that to a degree, but but if you call somebody out and you want to pick a fight with them and pick apart what they said, then you better make fucking sense. You better make some sense out of it. Because what I find a lot of these people do is they're so fucking sensitive. They're so sensitive, and I'm talking about feminists. Equal rights activists, like when it comes to racism, like there's like black rights activists out there, there's white act rights activists, Latino, Asian, blah blah blah, blah where they're so sensitive and they're it, it's it's like they're per, like 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 some people say this. This is a, a coin, a, a term that has been coined, like professionally offended people, like like their like their job is to get fucking offended and bitch about it. Uh, so I figure I I just see that these people are so uptight, and, and they're, they're like they're looking for a fight all the time and it's like you have to walk on eggshells and nobody wants to be around somebody like that nobody wants to be around somebody where you have to like think oh shit is this gonna bother her oh shit can i make a joke can i try to be funny oh well if i'm trying to be funny she might get offended and i we're gonna, we're gonna argue now well fuck that man i don't want to be with people like that and i don't think any y'all motherfuckers want to be with people like that either so uh uh damn i lost my train of thought man fuck so so these, these people I find to be very judgmental. For example, now, let me just start off by saying this. I'm gonna bring up Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, uh, Hillary Clinton, pardon me. I am not a Donald Trump supporter. I am not a Hillary Clinton supporter. I do not give a fuck about American politics and government. I live in Cambodia, okay? So, I am not biased towards any political party running for the fucking office in, in America. So, so, so don't fucking get offended and fucking relax. I know this is a hot button issue and see, it's a hot button issue. Because, oh, uh, Hillary, she's a woman. Oh my God, are you a fucking, if, oh, you like Trump, you're a racist. Oh, you're a fucking conservative piece of shit racist. Well, <sighs> this is what I'm gonna say about it. 
people people often they just they they they, they just attach themselves to one fucking ideology, whether it's political, religious, and they just blindly go with, with what they're told. They blindly go with what they're told, no matter what, man. Uh, well, you know, with this, with this whole Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton thing, I, I will say the one, the one thing that, that, that I will hold over uh, Donald Trump, like, like, like in a, like an admirable way, is that at least, now, granted, maybe he's, yes, yes, Donald Trump says some ridiculous shit. Yes, yes, he says some ridiculous shit. Yes, I know, I know. But, but, and again, I'm not a Trump supporter. I'm not rooting for the guy. I don't give a fuck who wins. I don't care. I don't think it matters anyway. I don't think it matters anyway. I think there's a man in the fucking, there's a fucking box in the sky with a few different people in it. Probably, uh, probably the fucking Rothschilds or who the hell knows. Uh, it, you know, I'm not going to say anything, you know, because I don't really know much about it, but, but the, like the fucking New World Order or whatever. Who the hell knows, man? The fucking U.S. president does not run the damn country, man. Bullshit. Bullshit. But I will say this about Donald Trump. The man's got some fucking balls. He's got the balls to fucking call people out. He's got the balls to, to, to say bold things that a lot of people think. A lot of people think the same thing. Maybe not everything, but certain things. People think the same thing Donald Trump does, but he's got the fucking balls to say it. Whereas, hold on, whereas... Hillary Clinton is just, yes, blah, 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 one, two, three, A, B, C, yes, go with the program, say what everybody wants to hear, be the, say the same fucking bullshit that we've been saying forever, and nothing ever fucking gets done. You know, it's just another fucking talking head, blah, 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 whereas Donald Trump, at least the man, motherfucker's got the balls to say some bullshit. And uh, perhaps get some shit done, man. Hey, who the fuck knows? In my opinion, like if I had to pick, I'd go with Trump. I'd go with Trump. Oh my God, no joke, such a fucking idiot. You're so stupid, man. Fucking kill yourself, man. Fucking stick a gun in your mouth and pull the fucking trigger, you fucking idiot. Ugh, go to hell. Type your little comments and go Go ahead, man. Fuck y'all motherfuckers, dude. Anyways, I digress. Safia, look, I don't really have much more to say about this. That's just how I feel. I feel like a lot of these so-called equal, right, equal rights activists, certain political parties, even people who are religious, just any religious group, any blah, 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 any group whatsoever, any ideology, they all are biased towards themselves, and they you typically never want to see what's on the other side. Typically never want to get the scoop on the other end. If you guys are picking up what I'm putting down. Anyways, y'all, again, shout out to all my fans. Positive vibes. Life is good, man. And no, I'm not reading off a script. I'm just actually looking at my badass painting right here that I did. It's just pretty cool, right? I did that uh, when we first moved in. Anyways, this video has gone on for 13 minutes. Instagram, at NoJoeCoward. Facebook, Facebook.com slash NoJoeCoward. Check out my YouTube channel. As always, share my videos on Facebook. Like my Facebook page. Follow me on Instagram, guys. I love all my fans. Life is good. Stay positive. Peace. And shout out to you, Safia. Peace.